Hey beautiful dolls, so this is the face that we'll be doing today and this is one of my clients, Christina. <laughs> She's a beautiful soul and let's get into this look. Okay, so this lovely girl is always planning some event. I tell her she needs to be an event coordinator. She's planning a friendship brunch for her friends. Um, this is a while ago. Um, but I'm going to start off by cleansing her face with these wipes. And getting her face ready for this. Now, even 10 minutes, everybody knows. Alright, so it's brow time. So we're prepping the brows, we're combing them into place. And then we're gonna add some translucent brow powder to just get rid of the, the skin oils or whatever. And then I'm gonna use the Milani Brow Wax Pencil to put them in place. And now I'm filling in the brows with the Benefit Brow Tint. Um, so I'm just gonna use that and shape her brows. After using the Benefit Brow Pomade um, Tint to shape the brows, I'm gonna use the Milani Brow um, Pencil, Retractable Brow Pencil to give it that defined shape. So it's a very thin brow um, pencil, um, so I'm using that to do the shape of the brows. The tint was to shade the brow, now this is to bring more shape to the brow. And of course you know you go over this and shade and shape and shade and shape and now I'm just going to conceal and define that shape a little bit more with my NARS cream concealer and my LA Girls concealer in front mixed together to give her a very beautiful shade and it's a lot lighter because I like doing that to bring highlight to the eyes and to for the colors that we're gonna apply to have something to pop. All right, so I'm gonna put moisturizer all over her skin now, and I do this after the brow so that I don't have the oiliness or the residue of the moisturizer to let the brows not stay in place. Um, and now I'm gonna prime the eyes with a lighter um, eyeshadow primer, and as I said, I do this so that the eyeshadows can pop. Alright, so I totally forgot that I was recording and I did the crease colors ahead of time. So I did a dark brown, an orange shade, and a, uh, we call it skin tone brown. And I'm going over this again, which is a part of the process. You have to go over your colors to make sure the pigmentation is there. Here you can see me at, um, applying that lighter brown um, skin tone shade to the brow bone so that the brow bones can pop and yes it will look totally normal when all the face is done this is the trust the process um moment um so yeah we're gonna shade that down and carry down that orange a bit and yes we're gonna reapply all of these things again to make sure everything is 
blend it properly that's the key to make up blending unless you're doing a abstract kind of makeup for glam you need to blend So for this look I'm doing a halo look um, so the middle of the eye is going to have the lighter color while the darkness is going to be around that so here I'm putting more of that shade that primer in the middle and blend it out for the color that I'm going to put there so I'm going to put a champagne color and then I'm going to top it off with another color um, to get that bright effect in the middle of the eye. <laughs> So let me know down below if you would plan a friendship brunch or do you go on friendship dates with your friends to reconnect whether it's your girlfriend, your male friend, your platonic male friends. Do you go out on dates with your friends? Um, let me know down below. I think like I have no friends really these days because everybody gone overseas leave me yes friends if you hear this you hear this um so i have no local friends much local friends i'm a stay-at-home mom so i'm not making friends like that anymore um so i need some friends to go on some date with so if you want to be a friend hit me up hit me up on instagram let's be friends and if you do, what are your favorite places to go on friendship dates? Like, what is the mood? Brunch, late night, Friday evening, or what is the mood when you go on your friendship um, brunches or dates? Here you can see after I applied some concealer to the eyes, I am applying a champagne color and sorry for blocking the camera. I'm getting used to recording while doing faces. So I had a lot of moments where I'm in the frame. Um, but yeah, this is the um and here I am blending out the crease again and that's what I said with makeup. Especially um, if you're a beginner and learning how to do your eyeshadow, blending is key. You have to go over things over and over and over again when you're blending. So always have a clean blending brush, brush that has that you didn't pick up a uh, color with to blend and go over. So I applied the brown and we applying the orange and I'm doing that over and over in the crease. Now that the moisturizer has set it in, we're gonna apply our black opal mattifying primer on the skin so that that can settle in before we do the foundation. primer and passing it into the skin I applied foundation off camera and I used the black opal carob foundation with um, the Maybelline foundation as well I don't remember the shade name right now and now I'm applying with a sponge concealer under eye a lighter concealer under eye to bring some 
light to the skin to bring back the dimension of the skin um, this is called highlighting as in highlighting low lighting yeah so um, we're doing that with the skin and I'm using fawn with NARS cream concealer under the eyes on top of the brow uh, on top of the brow bone um, in the middle and a little bit down the nose as well and we're going back to the eyes and here I'm lining the eyes this is a pre lining with a gel liner and a brush I'm doing this so that when I use my liquid liner it can definitely stand out more even though it really doesn't need no help and the cream the gel liner that I'm using is a Maybelline gel liner and then I'm gonna use the uh, what is it called um, it's Jordan cat eyes liner liquid liner it's one of my favorite liquid liner right now um, to line on top of that to get that very dark um, liner that I love the Sasha Buttercup powder under the eyes just to set that concealer and before I applied it I touched up and made sure that there are not any creases in the concealer and then apply the powder I'm just gonna set it and then brush it away later with the foundation shade As a professional makeup artist, I depot a lot of my powders and stuff to compact everything in one. And I'm using my palette here with a very dark um, chocolate tone foundation powder. I don't remember the name of it or the brand right now, um, but it's one of my favorites to use on the deeper skin tones. It really gets the skin looking right. And then I'm gonna dust off that under eye buttercup powder and use a lighter shade to melt everything together as you can see. Alright, so after doing that, I'm gonna use my loose powder bronzer by Maybelline to put on the brow bone as a highlight. It's a very beautiful color. It's like a blush and a highlight in one because it has a red undertone that very much complements darker skin tone i don't even think this is being sold anymore i've had this so long i've barely used it or barely hit anything on it because it's so pigmented and very beautiful on darker skin tones So we're almost to the end of this lovely bleach and isn't she looking gorgeous already? I applied lashes off camera and now I am doing her lips. I'm using a LA color, LA girls or LA color, I don't remember which one, lip pencil in a dark color. It reminds me of Chestnut by MAC. It's that kind of tone and then I'm using a liquid lip gloss but it's very pigment by Milani. Do you remember the shade name? It's a pinky nude and blending in that with the lip liner to give a ombre ish look. And yeah. So you know we have to do the finishing touch to get the look all together, right? So I'm applying a little bit of a shimmer in the inner portion of the eyes just to bring 
the shadows from the top to the bottom united together and you know we have to set all of this beat we gotta have her looking right all day setting the with the setting powder i think this is my milani um mattifying pro, pro um mattifying setting spray and courtesy of me i'm always like finishing up the look of my my, my dolls i love doing that she's here caught getting her cap to come for her and i'm just slaying those edges so here is the reveal Alright, so if she's one of my clients that have a bit of a watery eyes, I always have to take care when I'm doing her lower lash line because her eyes water very easily. So I'm just patting it and getting her ready to head out okay. on the road looking beautiful for her brunch. Look at her. So if you don't know, go follow me on Instagram, Moya Lovely, and follow the sleigh. Yes. <laughs>